What's up YouTube, Ryan back, and today I'm giving you five players that you should and need to buy during the baseball offseason. Now that the baseball offseason is officially among us, I'd say we're in the middle of it right now. It's not going to get any more offseason than it is right now. My prediction and a lot of people's predictions that baseball would follow suit with basketball and the market would trend down has been completely accurate. So today I'm going through five players that I am buying right now that I think you guys should buy that are just generally just really good buys right now that I think have a lot of upside to them and could be the best time to buy these cards for the entire year. Before we jump into the video, guys, if you guys like my videos or want me to keep producing content for the offseason, want me to keep talking about players that we should buy during the offseason, who are good buys, who are not maybe, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I really, really want to dive deep into this this offseason. I want to do at least four or five videos on this because there's so many players that are great buys right now. I picked my five favorites for this video to start it off, but there's so many other ones that are just phenomenal buys right now let me know in the comments who you guys are buying who you guys want me to talk about just let me know all right let's jump into the first player the first player we want to talk about you guys was the second place runner-up in al rookie of the year luis robert of the chicago white Sox. luis robert you guys has never ever ever been more of a buy now He's been inflated for over a year now, I think. I think his price has been pretty high, and especially high before he even played in the major leagues. And he had a gigantic slump at the end of the year where I think he went 0 for 28 or 0 for 30. And he ended up hitting only 233 because of it. He was hitting like 260, 270 before that. So the card we're looking at today is his 2020 Top Series 2. But all of his cards are moving down, you guys. So we're just focusing on this today because this is his flagship rookie card. This is going to be the card that you're going to want. If you want cards that are going to scale with Luis Roberts, this is going to be the base card. This and Topps Chrome are the two cards you're going to want to look at. But we're focusing just on the Series 2 today. So the graph we're looking at, you guys, sell the peak. They weren't a website until July. They're brand new in the end of July. Before July... When Series 2 came out, this card was worth $30, like straight up $30. And then as more of them got out there, it started trending down a little bit. But throughout the, pretty much the entire season, this card was selling for $20, $25 really consistently. You guys can see how that works. But then as we see the slump happen, the season gets further ahead, keeps trickling down. By the time their season was over, this card's selling for $15. Off season hits, it goes down even further. This card selling that was $30 before the season started is now selling for $10. I've never seen more of a time to buy Luis Robert cards than right now. I honestly don't know if his price will ever be this low again, you guys. Like straight up, I'm starting off with my favorite buy of this off season. And you guys will see this. In my next mail day videos, I have Luis Robert cards coming to my house. You guys will see it. I'm not making this video just because I want to help you guys because like... Myself, I don't want you guys who love collecting, who want to be investors, I don't want to see you guys miss out this opportunity. I missed out on the Acunas, the, the Sotos. Like, when Juan Soto's cards were $10, I felt like where the market was at, like, I don't want to pay $10 for a rookie card, and now his, his raw cards are selling for $30 plus, and I'm buying them at $30 now. So, take advantage, buy when you can. I think when Juan Soto's cards were that that price, I only bought two of them. So I missed the boat on that one. I am not missing the boat on Luis Robert. I promise you guys that. And this is his raw ungraded card, you guys. I'm, I focus on this because I do think his graded cards are expensive. There's not a lot of them out there yet. And I think they're, they're charging a premium for them. I don't think a graded PSA 10 of this card that you can buy for $10 ungraded is worth $130 plus. That's just my opinion. Maybe it's not the worst buy in the world still, but I'm not buying it just because why would I spend over $100 more on a card that's graded than raw when you can grade it and potentially get a PSA 10 in a card that you could invest $30 into. This is the only raw card I'm really focusing on today because that price differential is that humongous. So buy Luis Robert, you guys. All right, this might end up being a kind of a long video. I'll see if I can speed it up, you guys. I just have so much to talk about. I, 
I love this subject a lot. Same team, you guys, Chicago White Sox. Eloy Jimenez is our second player. You guys know how much I love Eloy. He's my biggest PC. I have probably 150 of his rookie cards. We're focusing on his flagship rookie as well, which is his 2019 Top Series 2 PSA 10. So we're, we're talking PSA 10 here, you guys, and I'm going to tell you guys why. Pretty much the reason is because it's very cheap. If you guys look at the graph, it's trending down just like Luis Roberts. But this card was consistently selling for $90 during the season. This was in September, consistently selling for $90. And as the market came down just a little bit in September, selling $75 consistently. And I thought that was a good price, honestly. I thought $75 made sense for that card at the time. He dealt with a couple injuries. He played very well. His Bowman's first PSA 10 actually broke like $100, $120 this year, which I thought it was really great to see Eloy's prices going up. But $75 I thought was super fair, but it kept going down. And this actually threw me for a loop this past week. I wasn't paying attention to this specific card for whatever reason. I wasn't looking at PSA 10 Eloy Jimenez and his flagship. But look at this, you guys. It trends down, down, down. And now this card is selling for under $50 for a PSA 10 of Eloy Jimenez, who is a top young player in the league. For his flagship rookie card under $50 this is an easy buy like I said I was shocked to see this price I actually I you'll see in my mail days I picked up some of his PSA 9s I haven't bought a PSA 10 yet but I'm definitely buying at least one in the offseason again I don't have thousands of dollars to throw out this market so I'm trying to pick and choose what I want I think this is a great card to buy like I said I'm going to be buying minimum one of these in the offseason if you have the money I would buy a bunch of them because Eloy showed this year when he is healthy, he is an elite hitter. He showed that he has more patience this year. He wasn't swinging at too many bad pitches. The dude was great, honestly. If he didn't get hurt going into the playoffs, because he only played in one game, and I think he went like one for three with a double, he probably was saw even more of a price increase. It sucked that he got hurt. But yeah, guys, Eloy Jimenez, second player on the list. PSA 10 is super affordable. It's the most affordable card that's graded that's going to be on this video today. Go buy it if you believe in Eloy. The next player, you guys... Ronald Acuna, he had a little bit of an underwhelming year. The whole conversation of the Ronald Acuna Juan Soto was kind of squished this year. Before this year, it was Ronald Acuna, and then Juan Soto just below him. Now it's flip-flopped. Juan Soto was, I think in a lot of people's eyes, way above Ronald Acuna. So I think that means perfect buying opportunities. They were focusing on his flagship also. It's all going to be flagship today, you guys. 2018 tops update. PSA 10. So we're focusing on the graded card itself because I just want to show you guys how much it's gone down. If you guys like graded cards, this is a great buy right now. Like I said, Ronald Acuna had a down year. Don't let down years scare you. So this was Acuna's third year in the league, second and a half, I would say, because he only played about 60% of his rookie year. Everybody knows who Ronald Acuna is now. Scouting reports, people are trying to not lose to Ronald Acuna, and I think that's probably why Freddie Freeman did so well this year also. Freddie Freeman's great, but I think people are willing to pitch to him rather than Ronald Acuna this year. And Ronald Acuna, he, he dealt with injuries. He he was a little bit exposed this year. For as raw as a player he is, he had a down year, like I said. Don't let that scare you guys. The dude is just hella talented. Like, straight up, the dude has talent coming out of his ears. In 2018, Cody Bellinger and Glaber Torres had down years. I told myself, hey, I'm going to buy these guys, and I never did, and I one of the biggest regrets I've ever had. So Ronald Acuna had a down year this year. And yes, his prices are a little more expensive. Ronald Acuna is a must buy. So if we look at his car, this is the PSA 10, like I was saying, of his tops update. This car is selling for $228. Before the season, and again, I don't have the graph for it. When Gary V was pumping his cards, this card was selling for over $300 at the beginning of the whole pandemic. Around February, March, $300 plus, dollars, you guys. Like $350, I think, was the most I got, it got up to. It went from like a $120 card to like a $350 card. And it's kind of gone down since then because of his play. But before the season, I was selling for $230 bucks still. So very expensive for a flagship card of someone who was rookie year is only in 2018. But as the season goes on, he's dealing with injuries. He's not playing to the Ronald Acuna expectations. His cards dropped all the way down, you guys, to under $160. Under $150. Bucks. $140 for this card is I don't want to say it's a steal because it's a lot of money if you don't have a lot of money, but it's a great buy. Like, like if Ronald Acuna bounces back next year, this is easily going to be a $200 to $300 card, but I think this is a good buy, you guys. Ronald Acuna 
down year. Definitely buying opportunities with Ronald Acuna. Number four, you guys, Fernando Tatis Jr. Again, flagship 2019 Series 2. Same product as the Eloy. Same thing. Same story with all these cards, you guys. This card at the beginning of the year when Tatis was running for MVP, like really running for MVP, when he was the best player in the MLB for about a month straight, maybe two even. This card was consistently selling for over $260 for about a month. And then, you know, he hit a little bit of reality. And I don't know if it was that he hit reality because he still had a phenomenal year, especially for how old he is. He's only 22. I think he just, his. I think his cards hit a price point where they're like, why are people spending this much money? I think it hit a point where people honestly just were... They, I think they peaked out. I think his cards peaked out, and I think there's good reason for that. Like, his his Bowman's first PSA 10 was selling for, like, $900 at one point. That was just ridiculous. It didn't even make sense. But as you guys can see, as time has gone on, and now in the offseason, this card is, again, selling in that same range as Acuna, the 160, 140, 145 range. So... Another huge buying opportunity there. There is so many people in this league that think Fernando Tatis is the next face of baseball. I cannot blame him for that. He He's flashy. He seems like a fantastic person. And the dude is a straight up stud. At the shortstop position, if he even shows any glimpses again of being the best player in the MLB, his, his stuff's going to skyrocket again. It really is. Again, I'm going to make a video talking about the market and where I think it's going to go. But I'm recommending these cards for a reason. I do think that these are great buys, and I think in the long run, these are going to be fantastic purchases. And the last player on today's video, guys, is arguably the best performer this year. I don't want to say best player this year because he didn't play the entire season and he didn't win MVP because of that, is Juan Soto. Juan Soto has pretty much shown that he might be the next greatest hitter ever. Juan Soto at 21 years old, you guys, hit 351 this year. On base percentage of 490. Yes, abbreviated season, but still plenty of at bats to be like, holy crap, this shouldn't be possible at 21 years old. Yeah, 350, you could get lucky in that span and hit 350, but 490 on base percentage, being able to take the walks he did. He walked 41 times in 47 games, you guys. We're going to see Barry Bonds esque walking numbers if he keeps on progressing. He is that good. He is that good at, he knows his zone. He doesn't swing at anything he doesn't like. He hits everything hard. The dude is just unbelievable. Power to all fields. Like Juan Soto has shown that he could be the next greatest hitter. Like for his age, he's blowing Mike Trout out of the water for as far as just hitting ability. Yeah, Mike Trout's probably a better athlete than him at 21 years old as far as stealing bases and making plays in the outfield. But as far as just straight up offensive ability, I think Juan Soto is blowing him out of the water. Like Juan Soto is someone that if you don't have his stuff and you are like, should I buy his stuff? Right now might be the best time to ever do it. Again, if he keeps performing, keeps progressing, he has gotten better every year so far in the league. And I just, I don't know. Maybe he's not going to hit 350 over a 160 game season, but maybe he hits 300 and hits 40, 50 home runs next year at 22 years old it's just he's so good as long as he's healthy i do not see these cards like going down you guys see the trend of the market where again this is a card that when when he was really really hot when he got off the covid list they were selling for 300 dollars, like consistent sales at 300 bucks and you guys see the graph going down i think it's just the market fixing itself right now as soon as it gets to where it it feels like it's bouncing off and i think it might be there honestly for a lot of these guys, you're going to see the upward trend start again. Like this, this is going to be like the base, I feel like. And, if, you know, if they play bad, it might go down. If it, they play good, it might go. It's probably going to go up. I'm honestly putting Soto in that conversation with the Trout. And if you look at Trout's rookie card, you guys, it's selling for three grand at PSA 10. And I know I don't want to miss out on that. So I don't want you guys to miss out on it either because, you know, there's just a reason to collect Juan Soto right now. He's that good, and his cards are trending down right now. Please go buy Juan Soto. You don't have to buy graded if you don't want to, but just do it. You need to have him in your collection, at least at some level. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Guys, these are five players that honestly are just generational type talents. Eloy Jimenez is probably the least talented player out of the five, 
And Eloy Jimenez might not be the person that hits the most home runs out of all five of these guys. Like, he has the most power out of these five guys. Like, as far as raw power, the dude barely touches the ball and it goes out. Like, it is crazy. The other four of these guys, you guys, Luis Robert, Ronald Acuna, Fernando Tatis, Juan Soto. Like, I look at those four players with the exclusion of Eloy because I don't think he's a phenomenal athlete. These guys could be potential. Like, these could be the next generational talents. These could be the next A-Rods. These could be the next Barry Bonds. These could be the next Mike Trouts, you know? Like, these guys could easily be in that conversation for best players that we ever watch and i know that's saying a lot because they're all super young but that's just what i see like and i know a lot of people are on the same page as me their talent is stupid like they are so 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 good at what they do and they're way too good at baseball at their age so let me know in the comments what you guys think are you guys on the same page as me with these players like i really do believe that these guys could be some of the best players we ever see. Eloy Jimenez, I'm obsessed with him because of his power. The rest of the guys, like I said, are freaking nature athletes. They're good at everything. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. Again, five players that I think you guys should be picking up this offseason. They're all trending down. The market is trending down, but I don't think it's going anywhere. I will make a video on the market explaining why I think that way. Let me know what you guys think about the market, where it's at right now. But thank you guys for watching. As always, you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You guys have a great rest of your day. See ya.